Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. When choosing which IELTS exam to take, the most important consideration is why you need an IELTS qualification. So, let's start by looking at the different versions of the test and which institutions require each type. There are two versions of the main IELTS exam, academic and general training. Each has been designed for specific purpose and most institutions specify which version they require or prefer from applicants. More than 10,000 institutions around the world accept IELTS as proof of English language proficiency, including universities, professional bodies, immigration departments and multinational companies. But which IELTS test does each accept? IELTS Academic is required by universities and professional registration bodies. So, it's essential to take the academic test if you want to apply for a place at a university or other higher education institution in an English-speaking country or in a non-English-speaking country where courses are taught in the English language. Most academic institutions in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada and across Europe require an academic certificate for both undergraduate and postgraduate study. The USA has traditionally favoured TOEFL over IELTS, but the IELTS qualification is now becoming much more widely accepted in US universities, schools and within professional organisations. It's important to note that individual universities and colleges have different score requirements so it's essential to check the exact requirements of the institution you want to apply to. For example, a university will typically require an overall IELTS band score of 6.5 with no component less than 5.5 and higher scores in the writing and reading sections of the test. It's also common for there to be a different band score requirement for different courses at the same university. The average band requirement is 6.0 to 6.5, but the top universities may ask for a band score of 7 at the undergraduate level and 7.5 or even higher for postgraduate courses. The only way to know is to check the entry requirements. IELTS Academic is generally preferred by professional bodies in English-speaking countries and required for registration. This is particularly the case in fields such as medicine, nursing, pharmacy, accounting, engineering, law and teaching. IELTS General Training is for people wanting to work in or emigrate to the UK, Australia, Canada or New Zealand. It's widely accepted for visa and employment applications, education at high school level, and non-academic training such as practical vocational courses. Your test result is used by the various institutions to help them decide if you'll be able to live, work or study successfully in the country to which you are applying. What else is IELTS useful for? Well, it's worth considering taking the IELTS exam if you want to work in an international environment. The IELTS certificate is valued and well respected by multinational employers worldwide. It will look impressive on your CV when you apply for jobs and may help you to secure high level employment. To find out who accepts IELTS, use the search facility on the British Council website. It will give you valuable information on employers, governments, immigration authorities and professional bodies around the world that do accept IELTS and the minimum band score requirements for each. You can also find out which IELTS test would be most appropriate for the industry you want to work in. In addition, the website has a database of thousands of educational institutions across the world which accept IELTS. You'll find a link to this search facility in the notes below this video. You now have all the information you need to be able to decide which version of the IELTS exam is right for you. 
What you need to know next is the difference between the two exams. For details on the test format of the two versions, visit my website ieltsjackie.com. I've added a link to the test format page in the notes below. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video soon.